Hello and welcome to the Iridium Polar View Grib uh, Manager video setup tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use Polar View to view grib charts and also use Polar View to give us coordinates to request new grib charts from sale docs using our UU Plus email software. So, the first thing we need to do is put in the Iridium CD that came with your order and open the Iridium CD and navigate to Polar View and from here we have a couple different installations for Linux, for Mac, um, a couple setup guides. Uh, in this case we're just going to double click on the Windows Polar View. So far this is tested with all versions of Windows successfully 32-bit and 64-bit, 95 all the way through Windows 7. Just select next and next install polar view is being installed this may take several minutes all right now finish and we can close out the iridium disk and now we have polar view on our desktop so we'll open up polar view and read the Terms and conditions for using the software from Polar Navy. Accept. And this is your uh, map. So from here, what we want to do is open up File, Grid Manager. Now, what the Grid Manager allows us to do is specify a region. With that region, we're going to take this region GPS coordinates and we're going to load it up into our UU Plus email software. Um, so first we need to define a region. So we're going to select download and we're going to hit select and from here we can now select a region. So I'm going to click and drag or actually click and let go and then move your uh, pointer to define a region. So I want pretty much the whole Gulf of Mexico and select again and you can see up here it's put, nicely put in our latitude, minimum, maximum, longitude, minimum and maximum these are the coordinates we're going to use with UU Plus. So we're going to open UU Plus email software. And from here, we're going to select utilities. And we're going to go to our web fetch module. So from the web fetch module, we want to select a new grib. Here's our grib. And we're going to go ahead and give it a description. I'm going to put in Gulf of Mexico. And we're just going to do a send command. And let me go back to my polar view and I'm looking at uh, 18 degrees north to 32 degrees north get the grid manager back up there so we're going to do 18 degrees north to 32 degrees north let's go back to polar view we're going to do 98 degrees west to 70 degrees west. Do, let's move this over just a little bit. 98 degrees west to 70 degrees west. Grid, we're going to leave that on 2x2 two by, two by default. You can alter that as you wish. Uh, times and forecast, we're going to do a 24, a 48, and a 72 hour forecast. We're going to grab pressure, wind, wave, sea temperature, and air temperature. Um, some of these other settings in here are if you wanted to subscribe or cancel a subscription. Uh, further information can be found at saledocs.com. For now we're going to leave it on send and we are going to save. Now we can minimize out of our uh, polar view and we can come in to our web fetch module again and we can see that we have our new grib in our web fetch module. We're going to click to make it active. And it says send grib request to sale docs. And we're going to select yes. And then I'm going to click done here. And now when we call, make sure I have signal strength. Yes, we have signal strength. I'm going to call. This is going to dial up SPS mail. And it's going to send our new grib request to sale docs. So once we finish sending this off, we'll wait a few minutes, we'll connect again, and it's going to return our grib file to us. So please stand by while we wait for our message to be sent. Here 
right here we can see that the connect message indicates that we have successfully connected to the SPS mail server and right now we're waiting for the remote server and it's processing our message and it's sending the close message to the server and the message is sent so our email is off in space now bouncing around going to saledocs.com SailDocs is going to uh, process our request and send us an email right back with a grib attachment. So I think we're probably ready, so we'll go ahead and um, do another call and see if our message is waiting for us yet. Calling. Right here you can see um, we have no messages in the queue. We got our connect message. Now we're waiting for the remote server. Let's see if we have any mail waiting for us. Looks like we're receiving a message. I can see we have an attachment, a GFS, which is indicating that we have our grib attachment coming back. It's 51% done. All right, looks like it's shutting down the connection. Looks like it's finished. Now if we go to our inbox, we can see that we have this query reply. And in this uh, gives us some, some information, but what we're really interested in here is this attachment, this GRB file, 4K. What we're going to do is we're going to save as. And on my desktop, I'm going to create a new folder, and I'm just going to call it Grips. And inside this folder, I'm going to go ahead and uh, click Save. Our Grip is saved. Minimize UU Plus. I'll open up Polar View. And from Polar View, we're going to click Load inside the, uh, the Grib Manager. Oh, I'm sorry. We're going to click Weather, then Load. And we're going to go to our desktop, go to our Grib folder, open up our Grib file. <clears throat> and now we're being presented with a nice map that shows us uh, some of the patterns of uh, waves and wind and pressure uh, graphically. So a um, couple hints here is uh, as you move your mouse over uh, the different areas on the map that have water, if you move it over land you can see over here it disappears, but as we move them over water we can see the wind, the pressure, the temperature and the waves change. And then you can also come over here and change for your different forecasts. This is just a 24-hour forecast. Let's go to December 2nd. And now we can see what uh, conditions are going to look like on that day. And of course, we can go to the third forecast and uh, view what we're going to see on this day. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation um, on how to use crib files with PolarView and UU Plus SPS mail account. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at satellitephonestore.com. Um, and we look forward to helping you in the near future.